Hey everyone, Tranchy Don here and uh, welcome to this next video. So this is going to be an unboxing video from the Spider Shop. Now I have already mentioned in my previous videos uh, that I've been doing recently uh, that I already have like another 50 or 60 tarantulas from the Spider Shop which I will be showing you in a future, up like future update. Um, but for this I'm going to be showing you a, a box. Uh, this is the box that I have. You can see it's a pretty big one. Um, of course Shout out to my girlfriend who's going to be doing the camera work with this camera and I also have a camera here so you can actually look at the box. So not going to talk too much about it, I'm going to get straight into the actual unboxing. So, as they open it up, we actually have quite a lot of things. I think we bought uh, quite a lot of equipment this time um, because we needed some things. I've actually just found a beam weevil. I don't know whether it's one of ours or one that's in here. I don't know. So, uh, firstly, there's a nice sticker. If you can see that, if I put it under here, you can you might be able to see it a bit better. Um, so, the Spider Shop, when you order from them, they will always give you a cool sticker. We have a few of these. My girlfriend is collecting them. Um, so, we have two lots of substrate um, with some stickers on. Really, really cool. At shows, by the way, if ever you buy these at shows, I'm the poor soul, poor soul that sits there and puts these stickers on them individually and takes ages. So hopefully you'll appreciate that the next time you buy them at shows. Um, we have... Ooh, this loads. Right, I think this is a bunch of slings. And so these are these small containers. Um, I'll just sort of show you on this one so you can see uh, these are the ones with the little bit bits. Uh, we use these for terrestrial and arboreal by having them sort of this way, which I'll show you in a bit. Uh, really, really good. And we have some lids for them. We also have loads of mealworms. Again, I'll show you on this camera here uh, because we do have a lot of mealworms, but because of the amount of spiders that we have, we're basically feeding off the roaches, the mealworms, and the um, bee weevils faster than they're sort of uh, bee producing. So, there's that. Oh, two boxes. Did you get two boxes? Yep, you did. Okay. I thought there was only one box. Two boxes of mealworms. Um, one large culture of bee weevils. Of course, these are great for teeny tiny slings, which we have no shortage of those at the moment. I think that might be it for the box. I can't see any more in there. So, so then taking a look at this, if I just remove the lid, I do apologize. My neighbor has just came back and he's playing his music, but that won't stay on for very long. So, uh, this is where my video gets demonetized for music, even though it's not even my music. Um, so, okay, here's a pack of dubia roaches um, again put them on here so you can have a look at them these are for feeders but we're gonna basically uh, raise them for a while to breed them up um, okay uh, we'll take a look at these in just a second let me just get everything out um, apart from the slings I can't remember what slings that we bought Oh, we have a breeding, a breeding group, don't we, as well? Forgot about that. So as it stands, I believe that that is... Everything, maybe? I might have to double check in the box just to make sure there's nothing else um, actually in there. But yeah, so then you've got these two containers, which are for um, the breeding pair that we, that we bought. So... Um, Okay, okay then, so we've got 3, 6, 9, 12, 13 tarantulas. Uh, these are T. Diffluzi, Diffluzi, I can't, I can, I'm not very good with, with millipede names. Two rainbow millipedes, uh, these are going to go into uh, our communal. So I'll show you these on screen very quickly now, but I'll actually do a, a whole video on these and the communal that I have, because it's quite an impressive communal, I think. Coming on really, really nicely. Um, let's say we've got the large, um, these large tubs. 
the smaller ones are the lids for these things, the bean weevils, mealworms, and the roaches. So uh, what I think we'll do is I'm gonna pause the camera for just a second to sort everything out so we know what we've got, and then I'm gonna continue filming. Okay then, so here's the enclosures. These are the two for the breeding pair, male, female. Um, don't know which one is going to go in which yet, I haven't decided, of course. Still got this food and the millipedes, roaches down there. Here are the slings and these are the enclosures. So we have the uh, four pots for the slings. The, as I said, the male, female will go into these larger ones. And then the six um, of oil are here, ready. And I've also got one here for the uh, scorpion as well. Hopefully that's big enough. If I need to change it, then I can always put it into uh, maybe this one, which I'm using for storing wood. So uh, yeah, going to continue with the uh, rehousings and hopefully get some nice shots of the uh, of the animals. Okay then, so the cameras are on. I'm going to start off by doing the uh, terrestrials. So obviously I have the camera here, which I'll be using for this. Um, they are already labelled, so you, of course the, the C. manix and the L. difficilis. I'm uh, going to take all the lids off these super, super quickly. Um, it doesn't really matter which lid actually goes on which sort of setup because they're all done the same anyway. As you can see. So I'm uh, going to start, of course, I have my tweezers. always use tweezers when unboxing uh, spiders or any animal for that matter. Move the male, female. So I'm uh, going to do the Lassidoi difficilis first, so uh, you can see the vials that they come in, uh, super small, uh, always packaged really really well from the spider shop, which is of course where I got these spiders from. So yeah, this is for the Lassidoi difficilis, of course, um, we have a breeding, not so much a breeding pair, but a pair of these for breeding. So um, I'm just going to pop back in, try and get a, I don't know whether the camera will even pick this up that well, but uh, you can see how small it is. I'm going to place this just into there. I know I'm using my finger because it's sort of softer. So difficilis, lid on, one done. Again, next one, difficilis. I do enjoy unboxing spoilers, but my favourite part is the setting up of the enclosure, so I could spend ages doing that. Again. And show you another very healthy sling. Of course, if you're new to the whole spider um, terminology, sling is the term used for a baby tarantula. It is short for spiderling. So, second difficilis is in. So, that's the two difficilis. That was actually nice and easy. I mean, it didn't sort of take that long. I always keep these pots, by the way. So, if you um, unbox spiders, always keep these. If you breed them, you, you, you might need these for sort of uh, rehousing these things that you have. So next is the C Manix. Of course, I'll be using the uh, tweezers to unbox these. Definitely, I'm not gonna. Okay, actually slightly bigger than I thought. I'm gonna try and be I'm gonna try and sort of show you whilst also being really, really careful because I don't want it to don't want it to try and run out. But you can see it there. And uh, hopefully we'll go. That one actually went straight into the uh, straight into the burrow that they've made for it, which is good. Of course, I will give you updates on all of these um, really, really soon when they maybe do like a feeding video of all of the um, the updates, you know, the new additions in this box, so you can see how they're all doing. Next again, C Manix. You can just see that in there, and so this one's actually going to come up by himself. I don't think I even need to use the tweezers to to pull this one out. And again, that one has just gone straight into the into the burrow. I just want to make a quick note as well that with, when I'm doing these uh, enclosures, the um, front of the terrestrials you can see along here. I always have the ventilation on the front of them, um, that way they get more airflow. And then with the terrestrials, uh, sorry, the terrestrials, the arboreals, I always do it so that the airflow is coming from the side. So just thought it might be worth mentioning that if you are going to use these, you can use them for both terrestrial and arboreal um, setups. So next up uh, is the slings. So um, 
Which one should we do? I'll do? I'm going to do the ammonia first, I think, because the ammonia is actually for my girlfriend. Um, I have one which I've had for several years now, which is from um, Francis, um, Invert Kingdom UK, Sidex, Balfoury King. Um, I've still got my sling of him, which is actually not that big, but uh, it's getting there. And so my girlfriend had one, but hers died, which is a real shame. So I'm going to try and show you this one. I'm going to flash it to my girlfriend. Of course, I'm talking about the spider. Um, <laughs> you see that? You're not looking at it. Yeah. <laughs> really, really fast. My girlfriend was having a bit of a giggle to herself. So I'm just going to place my hand in there. And try and get the actual. There we go. And the spider's just down here. Nice and easy. It's a good one in there. Did you, did you enjoy that? It was good. Um, okay, so that one's done. Uh, might as well do the lamp of Palma as well. So, again, you can see the enclosure is open. Make sure each corner is secure. The reason I say that is because. Um, my girlfriend recently, well, we had some centipedes, and uh, my girlfriend didn't put the lid down perfect, and it might have had a bit of a wonder, but we found it. <laughs> <laughs> it happens. I mean, you say that. I mean, there's a story coming up that I'll tell you by more detail. But I had the same with a with a big with a big centipede. So, yeah, I might have to do a special video just on what happens when inverts escape. Um, so yeah, this is the Lamp of Palma, actually quite a good size as well. Um, da, 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 da. Try and show you really carefully, can you see it? And of course show the camera. I'm not going to get too close to this because um, I'll get a better shot later, but you can see it there, really, really healthy. And you sort of place that down there. Put the tweezers very carefully, touch the back of the spider, and in it goes. No problems there. So those are my, um, those are my girlfriends. So the Emernia is to replace hers that died, and the Lampopelma is just because she doesn't have a Lampopelma, and she's jealous of mine. So, which we've seen all of about four times in the last, like, I think I've seen like four times in the last sort of few years. Okay, next up, um, I think we'll do the Miranda's next. So, two Pocotheria Miranda. I said that and I hold up one vial. There's two Miranda, as you can see here. And um, I actually really like these. I did I did have uh, one of these before, and it came in a really small little vial, which is full of water. And everyone said, use it as a water dish, it'll be fine. And then I came in the next day and the spider had drowned in it. So, um, yeah. And people ask me why I don't use water dishes. Yeah, true story. So yeah, here's the Miranda. Again, really, really small little spider, but lovely. I actually have a, we have a really good collection of pokies around. I think, I can't think off the top of my head how many I have. But um, I have, I think I have all, but um, I don't have Vitata. Um, don't have Vitata. Um, I don't have Smithy, and I don't have the Tig Runner's Swally. So three, three, three species short of the complete collection, which is really, really good. I will, of course, have them at some point. So again, another Miranda looking really, really healthy. Of course, I've never had a problem with um, anything from the spider shop. Um, also, I think now would be a good time to mention this, um, but if ever you are, if ever you order a spider, from the spider shop, and not, not actually only the spider shop, but I would imagine any uh, supplier of inverts. If you order a spider and it dies, honestly, just contact the seller and say, I've had a spider come and it's dead. Because I'm willing to bet everything that they will try and sort it with you. I hate seeing posts on social media where people say, I ordered this from, but well, the spider shop was the last one I saw, and it was dead, and they were ranting about it. It's like, just, if you contact them, they will sort it. You don't need to, to whinge and complain. Again, 
double checking that all the corners are firmly down so that none escape because that would be bad. Next up is the T um, T Rasti, which is the Caribbean Diamond. These are really beautiful spiders. I really like these. Um, we actually have uh, we have another species of Tapenarchinus, which is T Violosus, which I really really like those. So again, show the camera. Only a small spider, but um, they are absolutely amazing when they are when they have all of the adult coloration. When in sort of super easy again, I don't really, I don't sort of see the point in stressing spiders out. You know, if you want to watch people stress animals out, go watch exotic Um But for me, I think I like to sort of get them in as soon as I can. No stress to the animals. You know, no drama. It's actually a bit of a joke. That's why I'll never be sort of super famous because I'm quite boring. But at the end of the day, I'd rather be known for doing things correctly um, and have a smaller following than doing things irresponsibly and have a bigger following, you know? Yeah, so again, show the camera. This is investing. Okay, so back to being super sort of uh, responsible and not sort of things. Obviously I have it, open the lid, and I'm gonna just sort of drop that in there. Nice and easy. <laughs> oh, by the way, um, you will uh, have missed a little outtake, um, but my patrons will have seen that because I'm going to put them on Patreon. Um, yeah, it, it basically escaped and we found it. So, yeah, you have that to enjoy. So anyway, yeah. So there's uh, that's all this the slings done. Uh, next up, um, okay, you got a choice. I'm going to point to my girlfriend. She can look either way. Baboon or scorpion? Which one next? Okay, so we're going to be doing the these two. So these are C. Sandri, uh, female and male pair. Um, I'm going to do the female first because I believe in being a gentleman and ladies should always go first. So I'm going to move this into shot. I might turn it a little bit. So here we go. actually done some webbing up and what I'm going to do to, to rehouse these because these aren't slings by the way these are actually a little bit larger I'm not going to be messing around with these my plan is to I'm going to just very carefully try and open this up to try and sort of show you the spider so I'm going to put that down and just try and get these spiders to come out. Oh yeah, lovely. This is the female. And uh, she looks really, really healthy. Really nice on the abdomen as well. So I'm gonna get the lid and place the lid on her, of course, because uh, I do not want her to get out. Again, want to be responsible of things, which is good. And the next one is going to be the male. So I'm going to leave the camera zoomed in as it is again. There's the, the vial with a male. Hopefully, the male has also done. Um, I'll just sort of show you. If you look at that. If you look at that. No, I mean you look, not the camera. The webbing. <laughs> you know, I'm trying to show my girlfriend. She's just sort of moving it closer. So yeah, just, I've just opened up the um, the web and you can sort of see it in there. So again, you can see I'm genuinely trying to not be irresponsible with this. So I'm just very carefully trying to. So this uh, male is not mature yet, but uh, No, he's not mature yet. Really, really nice looking spider. Not sure how well it'll sort of come up on the um, on the camera. You can see in there. I'm going to explore.
Next up, we're going to be taking a look at uh, the Scorpion because that one is going to be pretty cool, hopefully. My girlfriend's got a Scorpion. It is a joint forest Scorpion. I'm going to take a look at it. I'm going to have the enclosure underneath, actually. I think that would be best. I don't know how big this is. I don't think it's a huge one, but um, we'll have a look. So there you go. You can see it's still in the, these pots. And take that off. Oh no, it's not, it's not massive, to be fair. It's about as big as I thought, in all honesty. So I'm going to very carefully... Oops. And of course I do that and it just falls out the bottom. So. Okay, so here it is. Uh, really, really healthy. Uh, this sting looks like it's intact, which is good. Nice size. I would honestly say this one is really, really fat. So I don't know, possibly going to molt or it could be gravid, I'm not sure. Um, yeah, really, really nice. So this enclosure should actually be fine for it. I'm going to just place this um, this girl into there. Really, really nice tempered. So this is the enclosure that it will be in for now. I'm going to get some, um, some bark to put in there, which I do actually have. I have some amazing pieces of wood. Um, actually, uh, you would have seen the video. Actually, I might put a video up now because you haven't seen it yet. I will mention it in a future video. I went out for a walk with my girlfriend. I've been doing an awful lot of like, just walking in general. I found this amazing little stick, um, which you can see on screen somewhere. And uh, every time we go out, we look for bits of wood that we can get. So we don't pull these from trees. We only get them from parts that have already sort of fell. Uh, but how nice is this? I'm thinking this would be nice for a nice sort of arboreal spider. But I'm going to break a bit of this off for, um, for it. Should be perfect. Which is fine. Um, so yeah, this one's from the spider shop. And uh, these make perfect little water dishes. Especially for, I don't like giving everything water dishes, but uh, scorpions and centipedes are something that I always provide them uh, for. So yeah, um, that is the end of the video, I guess. Maybe. Hopefully, you are right. I was about to end the video then, and uh, my girlfriend has pointed out that we still have the millipedes. So I'm gonna put the lid on this for now, and I'm gonna do the millipedes. Now, the millipedes is going to be really, really cool because um, of where they're going. I don't know, should I do that in, I might do that in a different video. Because of, I want to sort of show the communal off. So, uh, for the next part, I'm going to be sort of showing you um, the millipedes, which I have, which are the uh, rainbow millipedes. But I will not be rehousing them in this video, I'll be rehousing them in the next. And the reason is because these are going to be going into mod communal. And I want to do a whole video on that. So, in this video, I will just be simply taking the um, top off and I will show you them. There's two of them. These are curled up. I have, these are a, a sex pair. I believe the male was fatter than the female. Um, so I'll just put them up to my the camera down here and you can have a look at them. They're really, really nice. Um, not a massive species, but they are one of the most colorful ones. So um, yeah. Like I say, I won't be rehousing them in this video. You'll have to stay tuned until the next one to uh, see where these end up. And hopefully you'll enjoy waiting to see that. Okay then everyone, so that is the end of this video. I hope you've enjoyed this rehousing video. Um, hopefully it's came out okay with the camera angles and things. Of course, thank you to my girlfriend for the sort of camera work. And um, I'd like to take this time to mention all of my new patrons in the last few days at the point of filming. Today is the 18th, I believe. Um, honestly, a huge thank you to you for supporting me. It really does mean a lot. And also to those of you that have been um, buying my merchandise. So I'm gonna have some links in the description to my merchandise if you're interested in taking a look at that. Uh, pictures on the screen somewhere of some of my recent works. And uh, the list of all of my patrons will be on the screen now. Um, honestly, a huge thank you to all of you. I'm going to be arranging to do a Patreon-only live video to have a chat with some of you, maybe do a private Discord um, server with you and uh, show you things and have a chat. So uh, for now, thank you for your support. 
Thank you for watching. Stay safe. And I'll see you soon in the next video. Take care and goodbye from me, everyone.